it's Maya, and today we're talking about service. But first, if you're ever in Georgia, we'd love to hang out with you in person on Upstreet. Now, is it? Oh, nope, sorry, or was I? Oh, right, yeah, we were talking about service, how we need to always be on the lookout for ways to help someone. Oh, no, sorry, I'm so distracted. I'll get it together. Let me roll the title package. Come on, release that screen time limit. Any minute now. Guys, I can't handle it. I'm completely obsessed with this new show on Disney+. Plus. Like, every free second I have, I'm watching it. And it's amazing. And a new episode dropped like 10 minutes ago, but I'm out of screen time. My dad promised he would give me more, but he was also a little annoyed when he left for work this morning. He brought donuts for us for breakfast, and he was trying to open the door with like his coffee and his keys in the box, and I didn't really see that he needed help because I was watching the show. But then our dog jumped on him and all the donuts went flying and he was not thrilled. I could have totally helped, but I didn't see. Oh Maya, I have been there. One time I was so into a show, I fell asleep with my phone on my face. But being distracted can get us into trouble, right? especially when we're trying to learn how to be someone who serves. We always gotta be on the lookout for ways to help someone, because helping someone can actually really help them. You're like, duh, I know, but let me tell it to you like this. There's a story in the Bible that you gotta, you gotta feel it to understand. So I have a challenge for you. Hold your arms up like this. Easy right now, right? <laughs> Well, I want you to see if you can keep your arms up like this the whole time I'm talking. Yeah, now it's just a challenge. If your arms get too tired, you can drop them down for a second and then back up. Or if you can't hold them up anymore, it's okay. But see if you can hold your arms up the longest. Okay, so here's the story from the Bible. This really, really happened. There were two armies about to get into this huge battle. There were the good guys, the Israelites, Let's make all the girls the Israelites. So if there's any ladies out there watching, when I say Israelites, you shout win, win, win. Okay, let's try it. One, two, three, Israelites. Win, win, win! Wow, that was really loud. I feel like I could actually almost hear some of you from here. Anyone's arms getting tired yet? Don't drop them. Okay, so the Israelites win, win, win. were the good guys. And then there were the bad guys. They were the Amalekite army. Now, boys, you'll be the Amalekites. When I say Amalekites, you shout, fight, fight, fight. Okay? One, two, three, Amalekites. Fight, fight, fight! Wow, I don't wanna mess with you guys. Do you, Israelites? Win, win, win! What do you say to that, Amalekites? Fight, fight, fight! <laughs> oh, it's about to go down. By the way, how are your arms? You still got them up? Okay, you're so tough. You can shake them out for a second if you need to. Okay, so it all started because the bad guys, the Amalekites, fight, 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 went and attacked the Israelites. Win, win, win. And this war was on. So Moses, the leader of the Israelites, win, win, win. Yeah. He said, we're gonna fight back. I'll send some of you into battle and I'll go stand on the top of the hill with the staff of God. <laughs> wow. So Moses went up the hill and he raised his arms in the air like this. Hey, if you put your arms down, try to put them back up with me again. Yeah. So the two armies, they started fighting. But as long as Moses kept his arms up with the staff of God, God would allow the Israelites to win. Win, win, win! But if Moses put his arms down, everyone put your arms down. The Amalekites would start to win. Fight, fight, fight! Okay, win, lose. Win, lose. <laughs> so Moses had to keep his arms up. Put your arms up, everybody. Yeah. Well, as you definitely can feel, 
Moses' arms were getting what? Tired, you feel that too, right? Well, think about it if you had a whole army of people counting on you to keep your arms up. Moses needed some help, but guess what? Two of his friends, Aaron and her, they were on the lookout. They noticed that Moses needed help and they jumped right in to serve. First, they got him a rock to sit on and then they stood on either side of him and held his arms up for him. Pretend somebody's holding your arms up and put them down. Wow, that's a relief, right? Well, Moses felt so much better once he had help from his friends and he was able to keep his arms in the air all day long until it was sunset. And guess who finally won the battle? The Israelites! Win, win, win! Yeah, great job, armies. And thanks for working so hard to keep your arms up. I wanted you to feel what it's like to need help, to be tired and have sore muscles and just wish someone would come around and help you hold your arms up. Because we all need help sometimes, don't we? And we all need friends who are willing to jump in and help. And that friend could be you. Always be on the lookout for ways you can help someone. You can hold the door for someone whose arms are full, help a younger kid tie their shoe, bring in the garbage cans, or pick up the stuff left on the stairs, or even refill the dog's water bowl. God wants us always to be on the lookout for ways to serve, because that's how we show others we love them. Let's pray. God, thanks so much for reminding us that part of serving others is looking for ways to help. Help us to see all sorts of ways to help, like at school or at home or the ball field or at the playground or anywhere else we might be this week. We love you so much, God. Amen. In humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Philippians 2, 3 through 4. Okay, so I'm going to be good at this. I'm going to keep my eyes open, stay on the lookout, so I can serve the people around me. I don't want to miss a chance to be helpful. And my screen time just unlocked. Nope, I'm going to stay focused. I'm here to help. Bye, guys!
world. Leave. 